Hello there everybody, welcome back to the Collector's Outpost. I am John. Today we are taking a look at another cool lightsaber. This one comes over from Neo Sabers. Thank you guys so much for sending this over for all of us to take a look at. But before we keep moving on, if you're new here, please drop down below, hit that like button, subscribe and notification button for all new upcoming videos. We have a ton of lightsabers coming up. I have more getting delivered today. Um, I've got some six scale figures coming in, so you're gonna wanna get all the updates for the upcoming videos. Now, I am not too knowledgeable about any of the old Republic uh, games or characters or anything like that, but I did know Satil Shen, um, mostly because I really liked the, uh, it was actually a, a lightsaber staff, if I remember right, um, and Neo Sabers sent over a really cool version of her lightsaber. Now, you can buy two of these and make a full staff out of it, but you could also buy a single hilt and use it as just a really cool lightsaber rather than a lightsaber staff. And uh, I kind of like that because all the staffs I have, the, the double blades, they take up so much of my room. <laughs> and I do not have a lot of room in here. My whole wall over here is just filled with lightsabers as it is. So being able to get a single hilt of this awesome lightsaber is great. Now, I've got to say, this is a really cool box. It's uh, like a cardboard box. It's got their logo in gold here inside. You can see that. Now, inside we've got the manual. We've got extra screws and hex wrenches. We've got a blade plug. And we've also got here, we've got the battery charger. And I believe this is a 32 inch NeoPixel blade. Now, what mostly catches my eye about uh, a lot of lightsabers, especially after doing so many unboxings and reviews, is the design. Now, this looks super cool. It's got all the embossed etching design on it. It's got these cool little fins and these rods here. Absolutely love that. Now, let's jump over to Neo Sabers website uh, because they do offer this in a couple of different versions. So over on their website, you can see that there's a few different versions here. So we've got the black version, which is the one that they sent me. And we've got a gray, a silver, and a weathered. Now, the weathered one is the one that looks so much like every image I've ever seen Shan with her, uh, her staff. So I'm gonna have to weather my version to kind of match this. Now you can buy two of these and create the staff. You can see that there's a coupling that'll come with um, two of them. Now I have to say the weathered version here looks fantastic, <laughs> you know? So it's gonna be a little bit of work for me, but um, I'm gonna see what I can do on it. Maybe I'll do it on a different video, um, but I'm gonna see what I can do to make this match that look because that is awesome. All right, before we do anything, I am going to show you a, a very important step, which is getting to the battery. So I originally thought that if you took this screw off here at the pommel that uh, maybe there was a removable chassis or something, but uh, that was not the case. Um, you have to take the screw off over here near the buttons and the whole sleeve will actually come off. So let me show you that. Now, when you're doing this, do be careful because the screw and the couple buttons will be loose and you don't want to lose them. So put them right in front of you or in a little cup somewhere so that you can put them back in as soon as you're done. Now the sleeve just simply slips off. Now inside, you'll notice that you have the switch. So this switch here, this is a kill switch. I'm a Jedi. I will always try to help if I can. All right, so the saber will not work until you take the sleeve off and turn that back on. All right, now all you want to do is slip this back on, make sure that the button holes line up Okay, now you're gonna drop your little buttons in first. And then you're gonna put the housing over that. Pop your little hex screw back in there. All right, so we are ready to go. We've got just the controls to turn it on. And this is really super cool because in the bottom end, we have more LEDs over there. So it's great. So I'm guessing that when you link the two sabers together, if you're gonna make a staff, it'll probably light up and glow right in the middle. So that's pretty awesome. And if not, look how cool that looks. All right, we're gonna install the blade now and we're gonna flip through some of the sound fonts that they installed here. She is a light side character. So let's start off with a blue. We've got a beautiful smooth swing, flash on clash. We've got blasters. Lock up. 
super awesome. I, I really love that. That's so cool. It's just like a little extra feature. I don't think any of my other lightsabers have uh, LEDs at the bottom. But this lightsaber is beautiful, man. Look at that. Now, once I weather this thing, it's going to be even cooler. All right, let's flip through some of the fonts so you can see what you're going to get. So flipping through the fonts is simple. We have the ignition button at the top here. And at the bottom, we have the auxiliary, which will switch through fonts. Oh, we got a dark saber. Actually, before we keep going, um, I'm actually gonna turn the volume up. All right, to access the volume, we're just gonna hold down the bottom button for about a second. All right, you'll hear the beep, and all you have to do is go up or down on the buttons. Now you're gonna listen because you're gonna hear the volume get higher and lower. So let's go. Let's go all the way to the top. Now, if you want to put the volume down, you just push down. And then if we want to go back up, go back up. So I'll max out the volume here. That way we can all hear everything. Now, that is a beautiful blue. And we have just the controls for on and off. Stab. Now, I am noticing as I'm swinging around that these things here do seem like they're spring-loaded. So do be careful. Um, hold it, you know, a little bit underneath the neck there or choked up over here. You don't want these things popping out. Let's flip around the sound fonts a little bit, see what we got. I am told it is the dark saber. Another dark saber? Oh, that's nice. Now look at that, when you swing it, the blade is actually turning a red. See that? That's freaking awesome. Love that. Sounds like Luke. Great. <laughs> oh, I totally love that one. That is really cool. I suggest you try it again, Luke. This time, let go your conscious self and act on instinct. <laughs> That's funny. So I'll just flip around a little bit just so you hear a couple of the other ones that are on here. You are a bold one. Lord Vader. What is it? Your father's lightsaber. This is the weapon of a Jedi Knight. That lightsaber was Luke's. If you will not turn to the dark side, Commander Skywalker, do you copy? So there are so many fonts on here that I'm not going to be able to cover in this video. The video will be like half hour long. So if you're not happy with the blade color you got, it's super easy to change. So to change the color, you're just going to hold the bottom auxiliary and then the top button. All right. Now you're in the color mode and then you're just going to turn it like a little color wheel. So you can fine tune the colors to whatever it is that you want. Go to a nice deep blue there. There we go. And then it's the same thing, bottom button and then top. There you go. Now checking the battery, all you have to do is keep flipping through the fonts and one of them actually turn into the battery font. 
So there we go. So now we have the, the battery signal right here. So I'm at about like 80% or so. But that is one of the sound font settings. So it's super easy to get to. You just have to scroll through it real quick. So these do also play uh, audio tracks, uh, some soundtrack files and everything, which I'm not gonna play um, due to copyright problems. I don't want the video to get flagged. But I'm also noticing that on some of the things, when you turn it sideways and you push the top button, you get like these audio clips. It's all a lot of simple tricks and nonsense. I felt a great disturbance in the force. All right, so I think that pretty much covers everything in the manual here. So you might even discover a few things along the way that uh, that aren't listed in there. Um, Profi's got a lot of stuff that's kind of hidden, just like I just found those little audio files. Uh, but that's awesome. This is a great lightsaber, full metal. It's got a great quality to it. I will be weathering this to look a little bit more like all the images I've seen of um, Satil over the years. If you're a big lightsaber collector, I would say pick this up. Um, it is pretty awesome, but I do suggest getting the weathered one so it actually looks like Satil's um, screen used kind of lightsaber. Um, this is gonna take me a little bit of work to kind of get this up to speed. I am so happy to have this saber in the collection. I haven't really seen this out there in the market uh, too often. So it was really cool to come across it on Neo Saber's website. And again, thank you to Neo Sabers for sending this over for all of us to take a look at. All right, everybody, I think that is it for this video. Check this out at Neo Sabers. I will put the link down below so you can go directly to it and check it out. All right, my friends, I think that's it for this video. Please drop down, like, subscribe, and hit that notification for all the new upcoming videos. And as always, I will see you on the next video. Be safe and kind out there in the world.